Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna unbox and review this new Asus Zen Wi-Fi XT5, do a whole bunch of speed tests and range tests using my iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is my Wi-Fi 6 device, and a combination of my Galaxy S23 Ultra and Pixel 7 Pro for my Wi-Fi 6E devices. Now, from what I've seen in the past, Wi-Fi 6E devices perform slightly better and sometimes way better than Wi-Fi 6 devices, even on a Wi-Fi 6 mesh system. So this thing is designed to cover up to 5,000 square feet with a speed rating of AX3000. This is a depiction of mesh Wi-Fi basically designed to get rid of Wi-Fi dead zones throughout your home. It obviously supports the 160 megahertz channel, has free internet updates, has free parental controls, and a whole bunch of features. In fact, ASUS has the most features from any mesh system I test, period. We got some manuals and stuff, how to set up and everything, good to go there. Typically when you're setting up ASUS, they do need to be close to each other during initial setup, I think within three meters or so. And then after setup is complete, you can then move it around to where you wanna place it. Now something cool about this new XD5, so we have screw holes and they can actually mount on the wall to actually save space, which is kind of cool. And so when we look at the back, we have two, what appears to be gigabit ports. We have the WAN LAN, the WAN standing for wide area network. Basically, this is where your modem connects to so supply internet. And this is your LAN, which can go to a wired backhaul to either one of those, or you can actually directly connect devices to it. And we have a power right there. And I believe, yeah, all of them are the same with the same two ports, good to go there. And we have some power. So this is what the power plug looks like, and it is 100 to 240 volts. And we have two more power, and we have an ethernet cable, which is most likely Cat5e. Yep, Cat5e ethernet cable. Oh, we even got the screws and anchors for them. That's actually pretty cool. So it's been about two weeks since I've unboxed these using as my main mesh system, and so far so good. So no drops, nothing abnormal, setup was super simple, everything was good. Now in that time frame, I had a chance to do all my speed test range tests. I have all those numbers here. And I did use the Wi-Fi devices, the phones that I was talking about during the unboxing. So let's start with the internet speed test. Now, no matter how fast any mesh system is, when you're accessing the internet, you are limited by your internet speeds. For me, that would be just under gigabit speeds. And when I'm hooked up via the ethernet via my computer, I get to those speeds, no problem. However, the Wi-Fi devices are a different story. So looking at the numbers, we can see that we got some pretty good download speeds and slower upload speeds. Now these are typical speeds from what I see. Now to find the true performance of this mesh system, I do a local speed test server, and I've done a whole video on this explaining the whole process, links down below if you guys are interested. But a quick summary is I basically make my computer into the server, and I go from Wi-Fi device to router to computer, and in the case of wired or wireless backhaul, I go from Wi-Fi device to the secondary one, which jumps to the main one, which then goes to the server. Now looking at these numbers, there's a huge increase in speed, both for download and upload. Well, more for the upload, I should say but you could see there's a drastic improvement for the single router configuration. The same is true for the wired backhaul configuration and the reason for this is because you have an ethernet going from one to the other and they are both supporting gigabit speeds. Now, wireless backhaul is where this thing suffers. Now, this is typical for most dual band systems that I test. There's really just not enough bands. There's not a dedicated band that can handle the connection. So it's kind of sharing the five gigahertz band with all your Wi-Fi devices and trying to give you that backhaul as well. So didn't do so hot for the wireless backhaul. Now, range tests. So range will vary based on location. If you're in between floors, if you have a lot of thick walls, if you're in a building with a lot of the routers around, all of this stuff can negatively impact your range. 20 feet away inside my place, hardly a drop. At 50 feet, still going pretty strong. Up until about 140 feet, actually, was still doing fairly well. And this thing did an amazing up to 350 feet, which I was not expecting. I was thinking this would cap out right around 250 feet. So this is the part that wowed me with the system. In terms of setup and configuration, you use the ASUS router app, which is available both on iOS and on Android. And ASUS gives you a ton of options, a, an almost ridiculous amount of options. It really lets you customize a whole bunch of stuff. Starting from the basic stuff of you could separate the SSID so you can have a separate 5 gigahertz and a, and a separate 2.4 gigahertz. That's not something I use. I combine them and I have one SSID, but you can do that with this stem. You can set up VPNs with this thing. You, you can do so much with ASUS. It's, it's insane. So 
a lot of customization features and also if you go to their web interface there's even more customization features that you really could get down and set every little thing in there it's 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 an insane and they also give you free parental controls which not every mesh system provides so this one also provides that so a big bonus there as well so overall very solid in terms of if you're looking for a mesh system with options asus is typically the way to go now with all that said is it worth getting these why or why not well as always it depends on your situation so i would say this is a very good fit for anyone with internet speeds of up to gigabit that's planning on using wired backhaul now let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below and as always smash that subscribe button and i'll catch you guys in the next one